Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing with the AP Calculus 2014 free response questions. So let's get into it. Um, so this is the non-calculator portion. Here's number three. The function f is defined on the closed interval negative five to four. This is a graph of f. Consists of three line segments shown in the figure above. Let g be the function defined by the integral from negative three from here to x of f of t. Find g of 3. So g of 3 by definition is the integral from negative 3 to 3 of f of t dt. This is area under the curve, right? The area from negative 3 to positive 3 is sort of this part. See it crosses 2 here so I know, well, I don't know what's the best way to sort of describe this. I'm going to do all of this area and then minus this area right here. Um, this area, let's see, the base of this triangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5 by a height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. So this area equals 10. And then the area of this one, it looks like it goes over 1 and it goes down 2. That's my guess. So over 1 down 2, the area here is uh, 1 times 2 times 1 half. That's 1. So that's equal to 9. Because this is area below the x-axis, so that's 9. On what open intervals contained from negative 5 to 4 is the graph of g both increasing and concave down? Give r a reason for your answer. Okay, for increasing, it means the derivative is greater than 0. And concave down means the second derivative is less than 0 g prime of x is the derivative of this. Well, by fundamental theorem of calculus, that's f of x. So when is f of x greater than 0? f of x is greater than 0 when f is above here. So it's between, it's 0. This happens between negative 5 and negative 3, as well as um, negative 3 to 2, right? Now the second derivative of x is the same as the first derivative of x, and I want that to be less than 0. So when is the first derivative of f less than 0? That's when the slopes of f are negative, right? Slopes of f are negative between negative 5 and negative 3. Like here is the slope negative, and between 0 and negative 4. So if I look at when both these conditions are matched, I have negative 5 to negative 3 and then uh, between 0 and 2. So in this interval. Okay, the function h is defined by g of x over 5x. Find h prime of 3. So this is b, this is a. c is h of x equals g of x over 5x. h prime of x is equal to, by quotient rule, bottom times the derivative of the top minus top times the derivative of the bottom which is 5 over the bottom squared this is 5x instead of g prime it's f of x right because that's what we just tried g prime is f of x minus g of x times 5 divided by 5x squared um, they want to know when I plug in 3 that's 15 f of 3 minus g of 3 times 5 divided by 15 squared. f of 3 is negative 2, so that's negative 30 minus g of 3 was 9. 9 times 5 is 45 over 15 squared. If I, I could factor out a 15 out of the top, I get minus 2 minus 3 divided by 15 squared. That cancels one of these. I get negative 5 over 15 or negative 5 over uh, or negative 1 over 3. D, the function the function p is defined by p of x equals that. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. P of x equals f of x squared minus x. Find the slope of the line tangent to the graph P at the point where x equals negative 1. Okay. Slope of the tangent line means I need P prime at negative 1. This is the slope. 
okay? P prime of x, the derivative of x, is the derivative of f, but because the inside is not x, I gotta do by chain rule 2x minus 1. Um, okay, and so p prime of negative 1 is equal to f prime. Negative 1 squared is 1 minus negative 1, so that's 2. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, that's minus 3 f prime at negative 2, what is this slope? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4 thirds. So this is 4 thirds times negative 3, and that's equal to negative 4. Okay, so let's take a look at how the solutions look for that one. Um, find g of 3, g of 3 is 9 between five at negative five and negative three and zero and two. Yep. Negative one third. Yep. Oh, six. Oh, what did I do? Oh, f of two. I don't know why I thought it was ne f of negative two. f of two is this slope, which is negative four. Oh no, it went down nine negative 9 over 4? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it went over 4 and went down 9. So this is really negative 9 over 4 times negative 3. It's 27 over 4. Wait, when did they get 6? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. Oh, the height is four. Oh, it goes down, yeah, eight over four. Um, it's minus two times minus, yeah, it's six. Okay, so I, I, I screwed that. I messed that part up. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful. Um, not doing great on this exam, but um, I will see you guys in the next free response question when we work on number four. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.